memorabilia collectors are a little bit of a different breed. I'm not talking necessarily baseball card guys. I'm talking about people that spend lots of money at high-level auctions for sports memorabilia. And they do it, sometimes it's because of a passion for a sport or a player, but usually it's kind of an investment. A record was set for a baseball bat at auction. Hunt Auctions has announced the private sale of a bat used by Babe Ruth around 1920-1921. And this one is different because it is the only known example to offer photographic corroboration of being a game-used bat. There is a picture of Babe Ruth with this bat at the polo grounds that people who are smarter than we are have dug through the evidence and said this is the same bat. It went at auction for $1,850,000. So, here's the question that I have for you guys. Let's just put you in a... um, a Forbes 100 list category. Their new billionaires list came out yesterday. I'm not saying that you're Elon Musk or Bill Gates, but let's just put you in the, you have income on top of income on top of income, and you can spend whatever you want on whatever you want. And you're a sports nut. What is the piece of sports memorabilia that you would pay a ridiculous amount of money for it, knowing that it has no effect on your ability to pay bills or send your kids to college or give charitably. It's just what is sometimes referred to as a dirty word, you money. It's it, it's just, it's like you got 10 million laying in change in the couch cushions money. So what piece of sports memorabilia would you love to own? Because to me, that's really cool. A, a bat that Babe Ruth used in a game at the Polo Grounds, that's really cool. Yeah. And, and so somebody that has the money to burn or is looking at it as a long-term investment, spending $1,850,000 on a bat, while absurd, doesn't seem like the craziest thing ever. What would it be for you? So I'm going to go for stuff that's good for me i'm not necessarily looking at like historical stuff right okay like the favorite thing is cool but like i'm not a yankees fan so i'm gonna like want can i get game worn jerseys could i get the game balls from the saint super bowl win Ooh. from a lakers world championship game you know like magic johnson's uh jersey from a from a championship game a giants madison Bumgarner game worn game seven jersey is that available to me stuff like that that that's where i'm going If you could get Drew Brees' Super Bowl jersey, yes, that's it. That's, I would that, take that. that's what you're yeah, doing. I would, yeah, I would, I would. I would want that. Yeah, framed up on the wall. Yes. Borky, what would it be for you? So, it, it's gonna be kind of cheesy. I have a relative that was on the original Pottsville Maroons in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and they were one of the first professional football teams. Okay. And I would love to, number one, get like do the whole Ancestry.com thing and, and, and learn about him more. But anything that I could find from that team and him in particular, a leather helmet, a pair of cleats, a jersey, something like that. And my, my grandmother recently passed away, and she had dementia uh, for – and it lasted a while. And so she couldn't really help us in our search for anything because yeah. she couldn't really remember. But we okay. knew that on the original roster, a relative of ours, her great-great-grandfather or whoever it is, uh, was on that team. But sadly, she couldn't give us much more detail than that. So so I've taken on like a little side project to to try to – process of eliminate some of these guys and, and figure out which one it is. And I, wa- I want something from that team, something that I can get my hands on, and it's going to take me a while to figure it out. 
But ever since I learned that, and and, and we asked her about it, and she couldn't really answer. I've I've been yeah. so curious about it. Man, some some great submissions on the ceasefire text line. I'll, I'll I'll read these in just a second. I'll tell you what mine is. I think I'd like to have Jack's putter from 1986. That's a good one. And if if there was a way to buy the golf club that Gene Sarazen hit the shot heard around the world in 1935 at Augusta. I think that'd be a really cool one as well. All right, so so here are some of yours. A Lawrence Taylor Super Bowl jersey. Okay, assuming you're a Giants fan. The baseball... <laughs> The baseball Randy Johnson threw that destroyed the flying bird midair. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Walter Payton's 1985 Super Bowl jersey. Bobby in Batesville. You, Bobby, and JC in Tupelo have both said the puck that was the game winner from the Miracle on Ice game. Ooh, that's a great 1980. Oh, and nice. remember, remember. It was not the gold medal game. That was the semifinal game. That's correct. It was the it was the it was the semifinal game. Um, I would like Tiger Woods' set of irons from his first Masters win. Okay. Uh, a case with five World Series game used gloves, worn by Derek Jeter in each of the five World Series. He won as a Yankee. Wow. Yeah, I I would say that that would be really cool. Elijah Moore's helmet from the leg hype game. Okay. All right. Hank Aaron's bat and ball from 715. That cost you a little. Tiger Woods, Scotty Cameron putter. Isn't he still using his original, or at least some of the time? Am I crazy, Borky, or does he still putt with his original Scotty Cameron from, like, May have 1997? Gone back to the, the Scotty Cameron with the ping grip. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger Woods, Masters winning golf bag and clubs. A lot of Tiger stuff here. There's another one for Tiger, uh, Tiger's putter. Tony and Clara says a seat from old Yankee Stadium for my outdoor kitchen. Bear Bryant's fedora. Okay. The baseball from Pete Rose's record-breaking hit. The basketball from the 1983 NC State game. Air ball, put back, dunk. It was a pass, right? Yeah. Ooh, sure. Keith and JS. Dale Earnhardt's helmet from his Daytona 500 win. Oh. Here's a good one. The onside kick ball from the Saints Super Bowl win. That's a good one. That is a good one. Here we go. I found the matching game-worn Boston Red Sox wool jersey and pants that Boo Fort uh, Ferris wore in games. I bought it from a guy in Boston. Boo verified it by looking, showing me before he died that he wrote his name under the tag. It's now sitting in a museum at Delta States Field. That well, that's cool. is yeah, that really rules. cool. Really cool. Nolan Ryan's, uh, a baseball from Nolan Ryan's last game. Jason in Tupelo says he would like, it, and again, we're going like, you're a billionaire with a sports memorabilia fetish. What's the one item that you would spend stupid money on in light of somebody paying $1.85 million for Babe Ruth's bat that he used in 1920 or 21 at the Polo Grounds? The side-by-side images of the picture and the bat do paint a pretty compelling case that it's the same bat. Yeah. Yeah, no question. The first baseball pitch to Jackie Robinson in his first Major League Baseball game. That's from Jason and Tupelo. There's no way that exists. There's no way it's still out there. 
Jeff says the David Tyree helmet from the Super Bowl. It's a great Ooh. one. Okay, like I, I love that people have come with different angles. So, hey, Dad said he'd like to have Drew Brees' Super Bowl jersey. He'd pay stupid money for that. We got somebody who said the onside kick ball from the Super Bowl. How about this one? The ball from the punt that Steve Gleason blocked. That's a great one. That's a great one. Yeah. Zach and Oxford says, I'll go ahead and take Muhammad Ali's gloves after he beat George Foreman. That's a good one. Uh, the shoes Jordan wore when he made the shot. Which the shot are we talking about? But against the that's Cavs? the problem with Jordan, right? We got a couple of couple of uh, that's that one. The Suns. Are we talking about North Carolina when they won the national title? Which one? The up and under against the Lakers. Yeah, there are a lot of the shots with Jordan. We'll be back. Sports talk. With- 